Hello everyone, welcome back to Echo of the Wilds. I have a dream. I have a dream of one day making an astronaut suit and going into space. But for today, I think I'll settle for an axe. Let's go off to sleep. Oh, wait a minute, it's not big enough. It's not big enough. Didn't I use two large pieces of wood on this thing? Sure as hell looks big enough. Um. Hmm. Okay, how many sticks do I have? I don't want to use them all. I want to keep some. Two. I think there's three here. Yeah, there's three here. Um. Okay, I'll burn these. Yeah, two here. So four on the ground. Oops. No, no, no. Use. How about now? Still not big enough? Okay, there we go. Let's drop this stick over by its other stick friend so we can socialize. Wouldn't want it to be socially awkward. Okay, so I've got a decent store of food. I've got two or three berry... bushels. <laughs> you can't have a bushel of berries, but whatever. Um, yeah, decent amount of food. I only have one piece of wood, though. I need wood. And to get wood, I need tools, so... I need stones. Oh, something turned to mulch. Is it you? Oh no, it's something over here. One of these plants turned to mulch, too. Alright, well, I'm gonna keep using it on this bush and see if it finally pops up. Oh, okay, so I did use mulch on this bush yesterday, and it didn't regrow today, so it doesn't work like that. It doesn't make it regrow if you wait a day. It licks the rotty veggie nutrients, but it still isn't doing anything. I wonder if you continue to feed it, if that just makes it regrow faster, maybe? Like, can you just, like, feed a whole forest and then everything will regrow really quickly? I have no idea. Maybe I should try it on a tree instead of a bush. <laughs> the thing is, though, trees kind of take, um, years to regrow, so... Anyway. Yes. So, food. Good on food. Yeah, fine on food. I just need stones for tools. So let's go do that. So hit up the river first, get some stones, and then go to the mountain place. Hopefully collect any gold. Um, do I want to take anything? Anything I need to take? Net? Net's pointless. No, I'm good. I'm just going to go to the river. Let's go! <gasps> Gold! Yes! Mmm, tastes like money. Oh yeah, I guess I should... Oh, another one. I was gonna say, I guess I should pick up the stones, but maybe I need all my inventory space for gold. Wait, is that another gold piece? Oh, never mind. That was weird. thought I saw another gold piece. Oh my god, there's three! Oh. Oh. So much gold. The thing is, though, I don't actually need food right now. I need stones more than I need food. I could bash this open, but as I learned previously, I don't think it gives you a big piece of stone. Not the kind I need to make tools. I mean, the gold's not going to disappear, will it? I don't think so. I really hope not.
Two gold, three stones, that's fine. I've got a couple stones back at base camp, so that'll that'll be enough. Yeah, food is not going to be a problem for a while. Thanks to this gold. Oh, I thought I had two stones here. Apparently I've only got one. Was this hiding behind a bush? Hmm? Nope. Assuming I didn't use that stone at all, which I don't think I did, then I should... Four should be enough. If I go up there and I waste another half day trying to bash something, I'm going to be super pissed, but I kind of have to. Shit, I can't even take my torch with me. Ooh. Ooh, this is problematic. See, I want to take my torch with me, but if I do that, I, I want to make the tool while I'm there. But I don't have enough time to actually bash open a stone and get it and make it and then use that while it's still daylight. It's going to become nighttime, guaranteed. But if I want to make the tool there, then I can't hold four stones plus a piece of wood to actually make the tool plus a torch. It's one or the other. I can make the tool without a torch, or don't make the tool, just get the stones with the torch. Which is the safer bet. But then I have to go up there again to get more stones. Whatever, I'm not gonna waste half a day again using my stones and then getting nowhere and having it be dark. Okay, can take it easy. Got a torch. I'm good. Give me a stone. Thank you. Thank you. Jesus. Jesus, thank you. Okay. Nice and calm. No need to run. Temperature's fine. Not losing anything. Don't think there's anything else to see up here. But let's take a leisurely stroll. Look around. Look at the stars. It's fun to think that the light that's reaching you from stars is, what, minutes? Hours? I'm not sure. It's it's delayed, though, by quite a bit. The speed of light's pretty damn fast, but those stars are pretty damn far away. So you're actually looking at light from quite a long time ago. I'm not sure how long ago. I don't know if it's... I mean, it varies, obviously, but is it a couple minutes? Hours? Seconds? Not sure. But it is out of date. Fun to contemplate. But I guess my more immediate concern is the fact that I'm going to die if I don't build more stuff. So let's deal with that. How is it hot here? I mean, it's at night, plus I have a sun hat. Of course, the sun hat doesn't do anything if the sun isn't out, but still. <laughs> it's at night. Is, there's nothing I can cut down here, is there? No, everything's too far away now. Hmm, do I want to sleep without a fire? Hmm. I kind of do. Yeah, I, I actually think I will. I also want to test something out. I'm wondering if the temperature of the environment affects how much uh, vitality you lose during the night, because you've been building a fire to keep away the chills, right? But if it's summer and it's hot even at night, does that even matter? 
one must wonder. Guess what time it is. It's time to build a thing that bashes stuff. What, are we thinking of something else? I suppose I could put a twig in there. But I don't really want to. Okay, let's see if my... Yeah, let's see what my vitality does. It should be relatively warm. Oh, that does not matter at all. Nope. Summertime, the living is not easy. Actually, I mean, maybe it helped. But it's certainly not nearly as good as actually having a full fire. Okay, stone hunt. Go up to the place, get a shit ton of stones, build an axe, go to the forest, and become a lumberjack. That's my plan. Oh, more mulch. Let me see if I can use it on a tree. <laughs> I really don't think that's gonna work. I don't even know if you can use it. No, you can't even use it on a tree. Okay. I'm just gonna keep feeding the bush. Three times now. And three times it's done nothing. Okay. I'm wondering if I want to bring the net with me. I did see some berries up on the hill. But it's only with one tree. No, I'm more likely to find a bunch of berries on trees in the in the forest, which I'm gonna to have to go to anyway. Yeah, let's just go. Wait, can I continue? Oh. There's more left of the stone. Well, shit, I'm just gonna continue to bash it. It looks like it maybe takes less hits when it's small. So maybe I should go for the smaller ones. Shit, I guess I'll just get one more, huh? Yeah, this one's tiny. One, two, three, four. Should have counted with the rest of them. I'm not sure if it actually did give me less. Bunny! I'm gonna get you soon, and I'm gonna wear your skin. But not today. You have another day of enjoying the sun. Your time will come. I thought I had a piece of wood. Well, I do not remember what the hell keeps happening with my stuff. Did I burn it? I didn't think I burned it. I thought I kept it in here. Well, that's gonna be a problem. Shit. I need the woods. Hmm. Okay. If I go to the forest, I'm going to have to take a torch. I'm going to use a ton of vitality getting stuff. 
plus I don't have any more food. Um, but it's incredibly inefficient to go to the berry patch and sleep tonight without any wood whatsoever. It's going to use a ton of vitality to cut through the trees. That's the problem. So use blue things. It's going to be turning nighttime. Use blue things. Cut down trees. I'm going to have to use my torch. Make an axe. Cut down more trees. Hope they have fruit. Hope it's regrown there so I can eat. But if it hasn't, I'm going to die. Or do I get my health up by going to the berry patch with my gold? And then losing a bunch of that during the night because I have no wood. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to risk it. I'm going to hope there's enough stuff in the forest to sustain me. I almost want to take a gold nugget with me just so I can use it on an altar that might be there, but it might not be. Because I'm thinking it might regrow the forest. <sighs> okay, let's go. It's been a while since I've been here, I think. There should be some new stuff. Oh, here we go. Okay, I should be okay now. Yeah, given that, I should be fine. It'll be cutting it close, I think, but I should be okay. Come on, give me some trees or some fruit. No, I'll take... Oh, wow. I will very much... Oh, and there's some a tree with some fruit. Excellent. It seems I'm still overheated. I think this is taking more vitality than normal. Which is weird because I'm wearing a sun hat, but I guess there's nothing I can do about it. I mean, unless I can build myself a mobile fan. I can perch on my shoulders. Uh, I don't think it's going to work. Holy crap, I just lost so much vitality from that. Okay, do I have enough room for more wood? Yes, I do. Alright, let's drop that. Let's cut down one more small tree. See if I can find one of the fruit. Nope. You will have to do. I did not mean to drop that. I meant to turn it off, but... Had the same effect. Okay, I've got a tool and I've got some wood. I've got some wood and I know how to use it. I put it in the fire so I don't die. Okay, pretty good assortment of tools. Enough stuff to make more tools. Drift off to sleep. Foe. Yeah, so far all of these that I've all of these dream sequences that I've seen, I think I've seen before. But at some point, I'll probably see new ones.
Damn, I lost a lot of water during the night. Not that much vitality, though. Okay, what do I do today? I need food. I don't need wood. I mean, I could always use more, but I have enough for tonight, plus an extra piece for a tool. Or wait. No, wait, I burned two. Never mind, I don't have enough. Okay. Um... In that case... Hold on, I just... I... Am I seeing something strange, or has that always been there? If you look at the very bottom of the screen, under the health bar and all that stuff, why is there like a, a line of flowers, like over the UI elements? Has that been there the whole time and I never noticed it? Holy shit, I'm losing my mind. Okay, uh, food. I've got gold. I need to go do that. No. There we go. So I'm thinking berry patch, that's a fourth of a day, quarter of a day. Use a half a day to go get wood. Which means I have all the time in the world to go to the forest, because it's not going to be nighttime. So I don't need to bring a torch, which means I have plenty of storage space. I'll cut down a big tree, so I have plenty of wood. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Food, and then more wood. Stockpile that shiz. And then try to make some snares, I guess. Actually, no, I'll make one of those fishing things. Yeah. Alright, come on. Give me at least three. I know you can do it, I believe in you. Oh. Five. Thank you very much, goat man. Don't want to eat any of these. It would be a waste. Let's go ahead and refill it, though. I figure the food is probably going to stay on the bushes, so even if it changes seasons and suddenly I start getting really diminishing returns, then I should be okay, because these should still be here. Ooh, I'm actually getting three. Huh. Yeah, I don't know if the diminishing returns is just based on how many times you use it, or based on the season. It might be how many times you use it, or it might just be random. But I'm pretty sure you used to always restore all six, right? So, there's got to be some sort of diminishing return. Should I grab another one? I don't want it to rot. Three. Three. No, three's fine. Yeah, I'm pretty much full on vitality. That's fine. I'm not going to be losing a lot anyway, because I've got enough wood. Okay, forest time. Cut down a big tree. I do want to make another axe, by the way. And go finally cut down that freaking thing on the beach. And by the way, when I go to cut down that thing on the beach, I'm going to bring two fucking axes. Two. Even though I'm pretty sure the progress that I made on it is probably going to stay there. It would be absurd if it didn't. It's the only tree, and I don't think it moves. It seems to be kind of, like, static. But just in case, I'm going to bring two motherfucking axes. I'm going to defeat that gigantic dick tree. Fucking piece of shit. I'm just kidding. It's a lovely tree. Hmm. Berries! I mean, I'm going to cut down a big tree, so there's really no point in going for a small one. I don't think the big ones ever have fruit, do they? 
I never actually looked, but I don't think they do. Let's take a look through. Ah, now I wish I brought some gold. Yeah, a lot of berries here. A lot of berries. Damn. Damn! Jesus! It's four, I think. Five? Alright, yeah, I'm pretty sure the big trees don't have it, so... Let's get to it, huh? It's probably gonna use up the rest of my axe, because I already used this to cut a small tree. It's gonna start... Yep, it's looking worn. Yeah. And it broke. Good thing I'm almost through. Excellent, that is a lot of wood. I'm pretty sure each stump gives you three, right? So that means I have three plus three plus three, which is, uh, it's the, the, that's the square root of nine times three, uh, oh, it's seven. Because I'm not bringing anything else with me. Should just get me right up to max. Yeah? Yeah? Okay, cool. It's actually probably faster to go to the left. Okay, tomorrow I think I'm going to make a shovel. And I'm going to dig up some tubers. Or Actually, carrots are not tubers, are they? Or are they? What is a tuber? I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm going to dig up some carrots. What is a tuber? What's the definition of a tuber? So one of those things I will always forget to look up. And 20 years from now... There'll be a moment where I'll finally do it. I'll go, oh, that's what a tuber is. So much wood. Beautiful. So yes, shovel, go up there. Uh, to the mountain place, dig up a bunch of stuff. And then I can make a fishing pole and try that out. I don't know where to use it, though. Do I use it at the stream? Or in the swamp? Or both? Oh, something decomposed. I'm gonna keep feeding the bush. <laughs> it still doesn't do a fucking thing. It makes a pretty little fairy sparklies. And says it had lapped up the nutrients, but it doesn't do anything. Maybe one day this will become a super bush. It'll multiply. You know, I'm sick of this note. I cast you out. Go away. Do I want to catch any rabbits while I'm up there? Uh, it takes a lot of stuff to make a snare. I'd have to bring twigs with me. Three things, which means at most I could make two of them. Which would condense them down into one thing. Not a bad idea. Actually, it'd be more space efficient, because I've actually hauled the raw ingredients back here. 
then again, at most I could take two. I, at most I could make two from the raw ingredients, but I'd kind of need more than that because I'd need the shovel in my inventory. Although I wouldn't need the sticks. One, two, three, four. I can make two. Uh, I'm trying to think of whether I want to bring sticks up there to make a couple. I suppose it depends, actually, on how many I can dig up. I'm pretty sure I can dig up as much as I want, really. There's so many of those things up there. I only need three of them to make this. Yeah, okay, I'm actually gonna make a couple snares while I'm up there. Actually, wait, 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 wait. That's not gonna work. If I have a shovel plus two snares, that's three inventory slots. How many slots do I have? I've only got five slots. That's three inventory slots, plus I'd need three more slots to bring the stuff back here to make a fishing thing. <sighs> it's making my brain hurt. God damn it, I wish I had a backpack. Okay, so go up there. Four slots for those ingredients, plus a shovel, plus I can take... A carrot? I guess? With me? I mean, the other stuff's just gonna go bad, right? Damn it, why is this gotta be so hard? Okay, I'm not making snares anytime soon, then. Okay. I could dig it. Up. I could dig this thing up. I really don't want to. I'm not going to. I can burrow up trees and other floral... Wait, what? What happens if you burrow up a tree? Do you just get more wood? Let's try it. Holy shit. Holy shit. That took a lot. Okay, I got uh, a little bit of wood, and one, I think just one of these? Yeah, one piece of wood and one little string thing. That was not worth it, that took a lot of effort. I guess the advantage is simply that it's at your base camp. Hmm. Okay, well... That's fine. I'll bring back uh, three threads, plus a carrot, which will leave me enough to make the fishing pole, and also enough to make one snare. Perfect. Perfect! It's a beautiful day. Oh, damn it. Now it's cold. Alright, let's be fast. Diggy, diggy, diggy. D -d 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 more, 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 more. Uh, carrot's just gonna go away, so I'm just gonna eat it. Eat that. Three of those, plus a carrot, and I'm good to go. Got daylight to spare. Nice. Okay. Store this in there. I guess I'll store this in there temporarily. I need a blue thing. And I need a red thing. And I'm finally, finally going to make you. Crafted and now mine, it be a spine fisher. With this crude aquatic beastie catcher, a banquet of fine, succulent, albeit tiny, fishies await my slavering maw. Hmm, albeit tiny. That doesn't sound good. Okay. Okay. Now 
now let's go ahead and make a little a little snare I just need my fiber where's my fiber where did I put my fiber there it is Okay, I've got a bunch of tools. Of course, I need another axe now. How many stones do I have left? Two? Yeah, two more. Again, I kind of want to bring two to the beach. So, should I make my other one? Is there any tool that I'm missing? That needs a stone. No, I mean, my hammer's about to break, but... I should be okay. Alright, let's go get some revenge. Okay, I'm coming for you. Time to make me a coconut flask, even though I don't have the recipe for it. Alright, let's be quick. Go, go, go. If this thing has not cut... Oh my god, I didn't save my progress. Fuck you. Wait a minute, there's one over here. Wait, it's going to take up too much time. Shit, I don't have enough time. If I would have, I mean, if it was pre-cut, i that's what I was thinking. If it was pre-cut, I could just, you know, start to cut it and be fine. I could pick it up before it becomes nighttime, but if I have to start all over again, no way. No friggin' way. Oh well, another time. Do I have any wood pieces left or just the trunks? I think it's just the trunks. Oh, gotta make a fire. I feel like there's something I was going to do. But what could it possibly be? Oh, yes. Right. I'm going to break this. Where's the bottle? There it is. Pling! Day 20. I felt luckier clutching this amputated rabbit's limb. I tried to clutch nine more, but my auras might... My aura's might didn't seem to increase. <laughs> what? I felt luckier clutching this amputated rabbit's limb. Wait a minute, how do you amputate... Is this seriously saying I can make a lucky charm? But only one would increase my luck, any more wouldn't work. My aura's might didn't seem to increase. How would you do that, though? I cut it and it just gave me the skin plus the meat. Kind of creepy, cutting off its freaking arm or whatever, or leg. I guess rabbits don't have arms, do they? Or, or legs, arm, uh, whatever, feet, limb. Let's call them limbs. Okay, we can actually make something else now. Why don't we make one of these? It'd be a spyglass. 
which took an inordinate amount of vitality for some reason. Lands tiny and far cannot hope to ever elude my various eye globe. Maybe that just guarantees you find something when you search rather than the possibility of finding nothing. Which, eh, it's kind of cool. I mean, it didn't really take me anything to get it for the most part, so... Not a lot of valuable resources. I don't think you do anything else with the, uh, the glass. And those blue spiny things are certainly of low value. Look at this. My entire chest is just filled with tools. This is beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, what do I do tomorrow? I know exactly what I'm going to do tomorrow. I know precisely what I'm going to do tomorrow. I'm going to go to the berry patch, get my food up. Then I'm going to the beach. And it's going to stay daylight because I've only used up three quarters of a day. And I'm going to cut those motherfucking things down. I used up all my gold, right? Yes. So there's nothing I need to take. No. Berry patch, berry patch, berry patch. That's the berry patch song. Okay, I would have liked more. But that should be enough. I almost went to the beach without getting my tools. That would have been a mistake. Alright. Let's do this. I suppose I could take the hammer and try to get the crabs, but no, the hammer's almost broken. It's gonna break really, really, really soon. Okay, please don't be hot, because if you take more vitality, and it's gonna take more than one axe, then that's gonna take all of my vitality. Okay, it's not hot. Excellent. Now we can take it easy. Down for a stroll on the beach, looking to do some tree murdering. I gotta say, it's really ridiculous that the progress you make cutting a tree actually does not stay. Like, that doesn't make any fucking sense. It makes zero sense. Trees take many, many, many years to grow. They're not going to suddenly regrow. Like, why shouldn't there be permanence in the trees? Why can't it be a project that you continue to work on? Why does it have to be something you deal with right now? That doesn't make any sense. It's really silly. Anyway. Also, frankly, why didn't you just start cutting further up? It's thinner up there. <laughs> I mean, really. <sighs> okay. If this takes more than two. I'm gonna punch the screen. Okay. Thank God. This huge, impenetrable leaf has the power to hold back the unyielding fury of the sun and rain. Oh, could I cover my fire with that? Because I remember when it starts to rain, it takes like, what, three or four pieces to actually create a bonfire? Maybe I could build myself a shelter. Well, obviously I need these first. And this devious nut is shielded by a hairy, sturdy shell. Perhaps I could smash it to smithereens. I think I shall. Hmm. Hand-sized bits of palm wood are extremely handy. Yeah, so the palm wood is used in the griddle recipe. I think. I think that's what it is. But what's the other thing? I'm actually not sure if that's what it is in the griddle. It kind of looks like it. It's really hard to tell. It's why I wish the game let me actually see the freaking name of that stuff. But what's the other thing? It looks like weird bark. Maybe it's a pile of stones? I don't know. Okay, well, I don't have any more room. So what do I value more? The leaves? Coconut? The stumps? 
Okay, well, I'm gonna get more wood from the stumps. A lot more wood. That's the most space efficient, so... I guess I'm gonna take the leaf. What about the coconut? Let me see if I can chop the coconut. No, you need a hammer. Which is weird, because honestly, you could use both. You could use a hammer in it, and an axe. Hmm. I know the coconut you can make, probably, just based on the note that I read, you can probably make a, a flask. Which is why I really want to keep it. I'm just thinking, if I lose... I mean, these leaves are probably not going to be here when I get back, right? I don't think they will be. So if I need, like, two of them to craft something, I'm going to have to cut down an entire additional tree. I don't know if you need a specific recipe to make a shelter. I kind of doubt it, because I've gotten many recipes and I've never seen this. Or if you just use it. Alright, I'm going to stick with what I have. And by the way, I need food. Really, really badly. In fact, I don't even want to make the griddle. It's going to take too much energy. Yeah. What do I do tomorrow? Do I look for gold? There was a ton of berries in the forest. Do I even want to process this coconut? It's probably going to give me food. Hmm. Alright, it should give me food, I think. So let's go ahead and attempt to smash it. I think this thing's probably going to break, though. Yep. Okay, it shouldn't take too freaking much to break a coconut, right? They're not that hard. I really hope this gives me food, otherwise I'm probably going to die during the night. Okay, thank god. Delicious coconut innards. Its once protective shell was no match for my incredible ingenuity. Please give me a bunch, please give me a bunch, please give me a bunch. Coco Scrummy. Okay, it wasn't a bunch. Standard amount of food. In fact, does everything give you like the same amount of food? I mean, carrots give you very little. But it seems like berries plus that give you really the same amount, plus the fruit from trees. Anyway. The bitter husk of a coconut spoils of my great victory. That would probably be the flask. Maybe I don't need a recipe to make it. I don't think I do. Let's... <coughs> Let's sneeze, apparently. Let's go ahead and... break one of these. Yeah, I'll do one of those. Ooh, that gave me four? Yeah, it gave me four pieces. Let's see how this stuff burns. Okay, well, one piece worked as one piece. I wonder if it's actually better than the other stuff. Maybe I just need one piece. I'm going to try using it exclusively next time. You know, I don't think this bark actually is for the recipe. I'm pretty sure it lights up when you actually have the piece, and it doesn't look lit up. <laughs> so, I have no idea actually how the friggin' hell you make the griddle. Or barbecue or whatever. Griddly barbecue. Okay, tomorrow I need food. So. Here's what I'm thinking. I think I'm going to go to the river. Look for gold. I'm going to bring the coconut flask to hopefully fill it up. And 
And I'm also going to bring my fishing pole and see if it works. Ooh, this guy is alive with mysterious meteors. My bush finally regrew. Wait, does that mean places have, like, regrown? Let's check. <laughs> Nothing sparkly except the one place that I can't go. Taunting me. Alright, let's try to fill that up. Let's... Hmm. Can I use that? Nah, I can't use it right now. I'm not actually sure how to use this. Hold back the unyielding fury of the sun. Can I, like, take it with me as a sunshade? I mean, I've already got a sun hat. I don't know. I'll leave it here. But yeah, let's take these two things and let's go visit the river. Looking for gold, looking for water, which shouldn't be too hard to find. Plus some fishies. Okay, I'm not seeing a use. Maybe you do need a recipe for it. Nor can I use this. Hmm. Okay, maybe I need to go to the swamp. Could bash open a rock. Hope to find gold. Without a hammer, it's probably not worth it. It's not looking good for my hunt for gold. Nope. Alright, I actually don't need these. I'm just going to grab stones. I was going to go to the forest, but now I think I might want to go to the swamp. Alright, I can go to the swamp. And I can get frogs and potentially fish. Just wondering if I stay still if the fish will come to me or something, you know? Probably not. But yeah, I go to the swamp, I could uh, take my net with me. And my fishing pole, potentially get fish, and probably get frogs too. Could you get some worms? dig up worms, but I don't really have any reason to do that because I have nothing to do with them. Leave the coconut flask behind. Which, well, it's actually not a flask yet. Guess it needs a top or something? I mean, it's obviously a shell. I don't know why you couldn't just dip that in the water and hold it, but... Ah, whatever. Do I want to take a torch? I probably should, actually. But then it only gives me two inventory slots. It's not good. Hmm. Yeah, I'll take it.
Okay, still can't use my fishing pole. Yeah, where the fuck do you, where the fuck do you find fish? Have I just not found this? Oh my god, really? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Ooh, hold on. Oh no, damn it, it gave me the use item because it's dark. What a fucking ripoff. Shitty swamp. Short as hell, no frogs, no fish. Some pretty bugs, but those bugs can go fuck themselves. They don't help me. They pleasure my eyes, but not my stomach. This fishing pole is the most useless piece of crap ever, and it was so goddamn hard to make, too. Mumble, mumble, grumble. Okay, no, I need... Oh, shit, I didn't mean to sleep. Oh well, it's a pretty good fire. <laughs> but, uh, no, those things do not make a magically awesome fire. Damn it. I should probably keep some too, just in case I need it. Okay, once again, I need food. Fishing pole sucks. And nothing sparkly. Could go to the forest, pick those berries. Assuming they haven't magically disappeared. Hmm. Could go to the swamp. I can get those orbs, which would give me water. I can get mushrooms, which I could use for recipes. But that wouldn't really give me food. I mean, I could eat the mushrooms, but they give you almost nothing. I could catch a single rabbit, but that's not nearly enough food. I could maybe catch more than one rabbit, actually, if I take the stuff to build another one. I could take a stick, plus a shovel, and I can make more. Eh, that could work. It'd be a source of food. Okay, fine. I really want a barbecue to cook the food, though, because I'm pretty sure that's going to give you more nutrition. I have no idea how to make it, though. None. Should I go do this? It'll give me two pieces of food. I mean, I guess I'll bring another stick. I guess I can make three snares if there's three rabbits. Hmm. I kind of want to go scouting. Looking for a place I can dip my rod. Ugh, that sounded weird. <laughs> dip my fishing pole. It's not even really a fishing pole. I don't, what the fuck is it? A spear? How do you catch fish with a thing with, like, spikes on the end of it? I mean, what is it? What even is that? I don't even know. Okay, well, it's going to take a lot of time up on the mountain. So I'm going to want to go there first before scouting. Yeah, let's go. Okay. I'll try to catch three bunnies. Please don't be cold or hot. Please don't be cold or hot. Okay, it's perfect. Wonderful. I can calm down. Take my time. 